So, here today on President's Day with uh, TWS Training Wheels for the new viewers. And uh, we're here at uh, Harrison Veterinary Clinic with a couple of cows. This one on the right, she's been losing weight. I've done several things for her and I want to see what the vet thinks. I'm thinking hardware disease or maybe even cancer. That one over there, she had a calf back in October. And 60 days later, she still hadn't come in heat. She's had mucus coming out of her. I've given her a couple of rounds of antibiotics, but I still can't get her to come in heat and be bred. So both of them are here today for that. And once we get them in there, I'll get you some more footage and if we can find out what's wrong with them. Go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now this first one, about a week before they, we got that cold snap. Uh -huh. I noticed her laying off from the herd and just not eating as much, but she would still come up and eat. So right in the middle of the cold snap, I got her up and I gave her, um, I gave her a shot of uh, the generic Draxon okay. because I noticed the weight loss. And I gave her, I, yeah. I just preg checked them all on Saturday and I noticed that she's pretty loose. She's not scaring, but it was, you know, green or black and it was loose. How old cow is she? She's about six or seven. She's had two calves, no problems. Um, so I gave her a shot of Banamine. I did give her, a, I gave her some vitamin B then. And I gave her a shot of that uh, generic Draxon and she started coming back up and eating but she's really never got any better since. So on Saturday, I brought her in and gave her another, which that was like, what, three weeks ago. And then on Saturday, I came in and gave her a um, shot of Banamine. I gave her some vitamin B. I gave her some Multimin. And I gave her a shot of New Floor. Okay. Now she had, a, she had a bull calf this See year. See how loose her stool is right Yeah. Here? She's at the right age to get Yoni's bacterial infection they don't get over mm. so we need to test her for that what'd you call it yonis yonis disease j-o-h-n-e-s what the huh she's still eating but yeah, they'll usually act like there's really nothing wrong with them other than the diarrhea and the weight loss yeah hmm Heart and lungs sound good. I don't think it's hardware disease. Well, did you notice this one eye up here? This one was really recessed and that one was sticking out bad. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. She'd never been like that before. She had pink eye in the past or anything? Uh, if she did, who knows? I usually catch them pretty quick. But I just wondered why one would protrude like that and the other one wouldn't. Hmm. Yeah, years ago I brought one up here and I think you looked at it and uh, it had cancer. Right. But she didn't last about another week. The calf ended up living, but. So what causes the disease? They get it when they're babies. Really? It's fetal oral transmission, and it doesn't really show any signs until they're about four to five years of age, and then they start with the diarrhea. And huh. So we'll send this off and test. You've given her about everything else we can give. So. Unless you wanted to do something for the scars, she can't do nothing for that. The antibiotics, new floor, oh, usually will yeah. help. But it might not go back for a little bit, but then as soon as they're off antibiotics, they, they come right back into it. All right. So let me go inside and get a tube. All right, that'll work. Go ahead and load her. You can, yes, sir. All right. So 
So what's going on with this one? All right, this one is about a four-year-old. Uh huh. She's had a bull calf her first year. She was a little slim on the milk, but she's done fine since. She had uh, twins, a bull and a heifer, back in November. 60 days after, I noticed, I noticed she still hadn't come in heat. Okay. She's got a white discharge on her tail. Okay. Uh, so I gave her, about three weeks ago, I gave her a shot of uh, the generic Draxon, and I gave her a Ludolized shot to try to flush her. She's with a bull. She's never come in heat. About 11 days after I gave that first shot of Ludolized, I gave her a... Uh, Another round of uh, the new floor, okay. and I gave her another shot of Ludolice, and she, she's never come in heat. She's with the bull, but she's got that, you'll see that white discharge. It'll go away for four or five days right. after I give her the... So when did she have her last calf? It was probably November. November. I can't tell you the exact <laughs> day, but I know 60 days was the middle of, of January, or end of January, so... Yeah, she's, her uterus is a little bit large, so she's got a uterine infection. I figured, and I thought maybe them two rounds of antibiotics and the... Yeah, sometimes it doesn't penetrate the uterus very well, so I'm going to get something to infuse with. All right. I'll be right back. I was, I, I synced all my cattle, so she's out of the synchronization, but I've got four or five I need to breed in May, if I could have her ready for May. All right. I'll be right back. All right. So what, what's caused this, the twins? She retains the same one. Yeah. So what are we doing here? Directly into the eaters mm. instead of. So, same way as you'd AI one. Yeah. I finally did five. I've got to test them, but I, I never saw a bull riding any of them. I can't believe I got 100%. But Papa always used to say, like a broken watch, right? Twice a day. So, maybe that was my one. Yeah. That's the hardest part I have right there, getting it through the. Them folds. Yeah, they can be difficult. And then they're pushing on you. And... I had Bobby Kraft come out. Okay. Without him, I don't know if we could have pulled it off. Estimate too, they'll help flush everything out of there. All right. So, as far as being with a bull, keep her away from it. She won't breathe this heat cycle, she possibly could next heat cycle. Okay, it doesn't matter either way, then. Well, this late, I'm thinking a November calf, and that's not what I want. I think the only other thing I didn't tell you was when I gave those others, when I gave those others a shot of little ice and, and put a cedars in them, I put a cedar in her, mm -hmm. but that was it. That was the only other. That's fine. It's hey, Bobby it's seemed to think it would actually help her heal her from the twin. Yeah, it just makes her think she's pregnant, and then you take it out, and they come back and eat. All right. All right. So don't need to do anything else? No, sir. And if she doesn't cycle back? I uh, come back in two, three months, let me pregnancy check her. See what's going on. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Ha. Come on. Ha. Ha. Good girls. <laughs> 